We're also going to talk about problems that both sides had right now. So we have the British side, and we have Washington's group. So you can put two columns on your paper. Don't have to be long columns. So we have Britain's problems. And we have Washington's problems. Okay, does anyone remember a problem that Great Britain was having in the war? They had two major problems. Nick? Okay, tea was a problem earlier, wasn't it? We didn't want to pay that tax on tea. Yes. All right, distance. They were a long ways away from where they were fighting. They were way across an ocean. Right? Distance was a problem, and breadth? Well, they didn't have problems with that. Remember, they had a trained army that had the red coats, and they were ready to go. What was their other problem, Lacey? Okay, that would be distance. Chris? Being sure that people knew how to fire the cannons? No. I'll tell you what, it was the size of the colony. They had so much area to try to regain. So the size of the colonies was a problem for them. All right, what about Washington? Lacey. All right, I'm going to put that down here for number three. Lack of support. And then we'll talk about that in just a second. All right, they were poorly trained. And they lacked supplies. Remember, we have 13 separate colonies that are not really joined together yet. So you didn't get a lot of well-trained soldiers. They were just volunteers, and they lacked supplies, didn't have enough money coming in to keep them with food and ammunition. And also, there was a lack of support. We're going to look at a pie graph. Yep. What's this graph divided into? Well, fifths. Okay, each of these is one-fifth of the pie. This is going to show you the lack of support that Washington had at the beginning of the war. Two-fifths, we'll put lines through those two-fifths. Two-fifths were what we call patriots. And a patriot was someone who supported the war. They wanted to break away from Great Britain. So they supported how many fifths do we have left? Let me see. Three fifths. Good. And out of those three fifths, one fifth were what we called loyalists. They were loyal to who? Great Britain, right? So they supported Great Britain. The two fifths that are remaining, they didn't know. They were undecided. So this shows you the lack of support. You only had two-fifths of your people who actually supported you, would help you out, fight your battles for you, give you money if you needed it. A couple 
seconds to catch up on your notes. Now, even though Washington knew he only had two-fifths of the people behind him, he goes back to Boston. So Washington goes to Boston. And he surrounds the city with his troops. But something's missing. What still isn't there? Let's just wait. I'll run it off. What's not there yet? Brett. The cannon. So here's where Henry Knox comes in. Henry Knox was someone who worked with Washington, and Washington sent Henry Knox to the fort for the cannons. Now it was a long, hard journey, and we are talking about March. 1776, no, 75, 76. So what time of year is it in New England? What season? Heaven, winter. Okay, so they had not only rough terrain to get over, but now they've got bad weather to deal with. But he's very speedy. He gets those cannons down to Boston. And they set them up around the city so that, here we go, another morning when the British wake up, all of a sudden they're looking at all these cannons pointed down at the city. Now, the British general who's in charge of Boston says, okay, we surrender, but if you don't let us leave peacefully, we're going to destroy the city before we leave or before you come in and take it over. So Washington is very smart, and he let them leave. So it save the city of Boston. So the first year, here we have our colonies getting an army together, and they've won some major battles, or at least they did very well in them. And also, they've proven to the British now that they can really fight, and the British aren't going to get this done so easily. Any questions? OK, your assignment for tomorrow, then, is to read Lesson 2 if you've not done so already, and take notes over the words in blue.